first thing you need to do is to copy the template that I've already developed for your famous artist gallery. What you'll do is click the link that I've provided for you and you will end up duplicating that template and it will go ahead and add it to your own gallery. See as you open up here in a maze to your gallery you'll see your own art gallery. You'll click edit and open up the template. Now you'll notice there are four slides on the side and we're going to first deal with this title slide. You'll select the text here and go ahead and put your own title for what you want to call your art gallery. And then you can start playing around with different styles of fonts, different colors. You can select here to make it center. You can change the size with this part of the toolbar. Move it around. Here's where you can change the color and you can select different colors and a different font. This is a way to make this presentation fit your style and the things that you like. Next, you'll start working on your art movement slide. So you select on the slide on the left and you'll see that there's a title of the art movement. So you will change that to the current movement that you're studying for the artist. Once again, make it your style with changing font colors and font styles. And next, you will share what you've learned about that art movement. So you'll just select the text that's already there and fill in your own information about it. Next, you need to replace the images in your art gallery with correct images from the art movement that you're studying. So you'll do a Google search to find some images in that style. And once you find one that you want to include in your art gallery, you will go ahead and right click on that image. You'll select copy image address. Then come back over to Amaze, double click on the image, click the icon and paste and then add that image over top of the other. Now you can double click, change, you can change the size of the painting, you can move it around. And if you double click, you can even change the frame style of that picture. You'll also need to change the title text. So just go over to the new image you found, copy and paste the name of the painting and the artist, and then return back to Amaze, double click over the text that is there and paste it over top. Go ahead and move that label up to the picture and change any font styling that you want. And then go ahead and add other pictures from your art movement, change the styles and update this slide about the art movement. Next you will select the artist slide on the left and replace the image with one of the new artists that you're studying. We're going to search a little different this time. When you add an image or double click on the one that is there, just right in the search box there, go ahead and put the artist's name, make sure that you're searching on Google and replace the template artist with the new artist and then go ahead and update with his name on your slide. Play around with the fonts once again to make it your style. Remember how you recorded facts about each artist? Well now you will go ahead and replace the facts on the template with facts about the current artist you're studying. Now we'll move on to a slide of the artist's masterpieces. So you'll click the masterpiece slide there on the left and advance to that. You want to change the heading to the name of the current artist that you're studying. 
Go ahead and search online or at the links I provide to find paintings by that artist and do the same thing you did back in your art movement slide where you search for the image, select copy image address, go ahead and paste that over in a maze and it will replace your image with the new one. Also make sure that you change your title text to represent the new painting that you found. After updating the painting slide, now you're going to share your own masterpiece of the project that you created. Let's go ahead and record the name of your art project, whatever you created in the lesson of this famous artist's online unit study. Then you need to browse to find the image. So how you do that is click on the project that's already there and then select change image and then my this means you're going to upload the photo from your computer browse for it paste it in change the style change the size move text around whatever you want to do to make it your own once you're all done you can view your gallery select the top slide Click the view button and advance through to see your virtual art gallery from the famous artist's online unit study. When it's time to add some more slides about a new artist, all you'll need to do is copy what you already created and just add new images and new text. So how you do that, so say you're going to make a new slide for a different art movement, you would just click on your art movement slide, select duplicate, you'll see it puts a, a new slide right there, then you'll just take this slide and move it down to the bottom. Then you could do the same with your artist slide, select it, duplicate it, move it down, and then go through that process for each slide that you want to duplicate. And so as you learn about the different artists and make different exhibits for each of those artists, you will have an ongoing, very extensive slideshow to share what you've learned in the Famous Artists Online Unit Study.